Hi everybody, welcome back to AMS Performance. My name is Lance, I am the Research and Development Technician here, and today I'm here to talk about our Infinity Red Alpha intake system for the Q50 and Q60. Now today what we're going to be going over is a little bit more about the testing criteria that we use to be able to give you the results of these intakes. We're going to explain a little bit as far as how we acquire this information, how we have logged this information, and how we translate this information to you, the customer. So as far as our testing procedure, we all know that dynos will read differently. This is one of the reasons why we're never concerned about peak numbers of what cars make or what our performance products will yield on top of a stop vehicle. What we focus on is a delta. Delta is basically a difference or simply a change in a certain quantity. For this case, we mean horsepower. Because every dyno will read differently, every car reads differently, we test within a very strict guidelines, basically meaning that all the environmentals, everything with the car is exactly the same, and we'll physically change the parts out on the dyno so we can get a, a true comparison back to back. We're not looking again at those peak numbers, but we're looking at the difference in between them to know that we are either gaining or losing, making sure that we are on the right track with our products. One of the things that we do is within the chart, there could be an average of many runs. I'll average together to give you those power graphs. It's not gonna be something where we're just taking the lowest and the highest again and just showing you one run versus one run and the difference. What it is, it could be a combination of almost up to 100 runs, even various vehicles. We're not just testing on one vehicle, we could be testing on five, six, seven, or even in some cases in the charts I'm gonna show you, it's a combination of every single Infiniti VR-based car that we've ever tuned, all averaged together one graph to give you the most real-world actual results on any of our products, including tuning, all the way across the board. So on to the performance of our intakes. We've had a lot of questions recently about the numbers that we've gained and how we have actually accumulated this testing. Now for starters, all the intake systems were tested on the dyno hood closed. Because let's face it guys, nobody's driving around with their hood open. We have a sealed airbox system that really generally doesn't matter if the hood is open or closed, but with some of the iterations that we tested and even some of the other products that we've tested, we want a, a true comparison of how your vehicle is going to react once you install your product. So as far as the power figures are concerned, the graphs that you see within our marketing are very, very specific, and I'm going to show you exactly why. The graph that we're showing you here is essentially a stock Red Sport before and after intake installation. Now this isn't just one day and a few runs. This is multiple cars, multiple days, and countless number of runs, all averaged together into a graph that gives you the delta, which is essentially the power gain, but it gives you an average of that. So we're, again, we're not looking at the lowest number that the car ever made versus the highest number that a car made and looking at that difference. We are looking at the delta or difference of all the runs averaged together. As you can see with the stock Red Sport, we're picking up about 17 wheel horsepower on average. Now that we've actually seen what these intake systems will do on a completely stock vehicle, now we're gonna take a look and see what these intakes will do on a red Alpha tuned vehicle. As you can see, the power graph is significantly better across the entire RPM range. We're still looking at an average of 15 to 17 horsepower gains, but the difference is, is that you can see these gains are much broader, almost from 4,500 RPM all the way through the red line. Now this is key, this is where the intake system really does shine because our red Alpha Tune allows to open the car a little bit further because now the intake system is so much more efficient. So these graphs are very specific because again, we're only really focusing on the Delta. We're focusing on the difference between a vehicle that's stock and a vehicle that has the part installed. That is where you're gonna see the differences when you install them. Again, we're not focusing on these peak numbers because again, we can just throw a max Alpha Tune in it and make all the power that we want. We want to try to keep it as consistent as possible and give you real world results. So we've had a lot of questions in regards to tuning. More specifically, can I put this intake system on my stock vehicle? Yes, you can. Now, if you want to take full advantage of the intake system, we highly recommend a red alpha tune that will yield incredible power over the entire mid range. There's going to be significant benefits by having a red alpha tune and the intake system all working together. We hope that answers some of your questions in regards to our Red Alpha intake system. If you have any other questions, please comment below. Stay tuned for the release July 31st on amosperformance.com. <laughs>